You didn't see this one coming? Well, me neither. Creality announced a brand new 3D printer called the Creality and the 3S1 Pro. I think there is also Max coming out, but anyways, a closer look on that 3D printer right here on Zachary's 3D Prints. Well, I did receive an email today about the announcement or the launch of this brand new 3D printer. If you are not familiar with the Closer Look series, well, I'm going through the things that I can find on their website or based upon a YouTube video that I saw from the manufacturer itself so everything you are going to see here are right from the website from Creality. so it's me reacting on this 3d printer and not only going through some specs or some information that is on that side so now that is out of the way let's get into this video so the first thing that i see on this site is that this 3d printer is a upgraded version of the s1 that was released end of last year i do need to say that that also this 3d printer comes with a direct drive extruder instead of a Bowden tube extruder so that is a, already a very nice thing so let's take a look at the nozzle because if you are printing with 300 degrees Celsius you are going to need to have some special things for your hot end they say that this brand new nozzle is made out of brass and can stand up to 300 degrees Celsius I'm not really sure if 300 degrees for a brass nozzle is sufficient enough? Just let me know in the comments what do you think is most suitable nozzle to use on something like this. You can print PLA with it, ABS, PVA, wood, TPU, PETG and PA. PA last one is for nylon. I don't know why they won't put nylon there but PA is the industrial term for that you have more possibilities to print on this 3d printer if you're going higher with your temperatures try to use some enclosure for this printer or else you will get some ruined filaments and those higher temp filaments are also not the cheapest filament so if you want to print something like nylon you don't want to have failed prints so these sprite full metal dual gear extruder they will say farewell to uh, nozzle jamming i'm not really sure about that because you can still have a clocked nozzle if your temperature is not right for the filament if you got a crushed nozzle against the build plate although your printer was still printing something like that you can still get jams because of the filament that gets pushed into the whole nozzle Part. the whole direct drive is 334 grams up to 80 newton extrusion force i think that's that sounds great full metal and durable i think we can agree with that metal is a great better solution than plastic parts plastic can break and wear unmatched accuracy and precision unmatched with what i mean there are, i don't know what the price of this 3d printer is i guess if the s1 is 399 us dollars i think that this one is at least 150 dollars more the build plate has a handle where you can use it because you don't want to burn your fingers better to have a handle to take the build plates to the front of you and then take your print off also avoiding greasy fingertips on your build plate a 3.4 inch here here this correctly touch screen they finally instead of using a click wheel 4.3 inch screen they use a touch screen well done creality finally a 3d printer that is now in the and the 3 series with a touch screen i never knew that this this moment would come but creality thank you so much some other thing when I'm watching this this little image, please, Coreality, don't use Photoshop for something like this. If you already have the product, let somebody touch the screen, make a picture. It's not that hard because this screen looks very big compared to the finger. Just saying. On top of the 3D printer, there is a LED light bar and it's a very clear one, a very bright one. Uh, I have one in the uh, CR200B. If you switch that LED on, it's very nice light. It's not disturbing. And if you're printing in, in some more darker areas or if you are using an enclosure for this 3D printer, then you have enough light to see what you are doing and the build plate is illuminated so that is a very nice thing there's an auto bed leveling system called the CR touch and in this case I see 16 points automatic leveling so uh, that is I think more than 
sufficient enough for probing the whole bed and get a very nice first print layer. There is a PEI spring steel sheet on this Corality bed. So you have the build surface, you have a magnetic sticker. On top of that, you have a spring steel sheet and over that there is a PEI coating. So you get a very nice sticky print when your arts going to start. And if for some reason you ever need to replace this PEI spring steel sheet, you can buy a new one and just put it on there. Well, a quick assembly easy to handle printer is 96% pre-assembled there is a 32-bit you cannot come with a 8-bit board nowadays there is a 32-bit silent motherboard there they say cozy environment I don't know how cozy that environment is but anyways it's I think heartwarming silent drivers installed dnc 2209 stepper drivers maybe some other ones i don't know uh, filament run out sensor it's a standard thing nowadays also resume printing after power outage or outage the one thing that i never thought of it but it's very crucial in case of your filament run out your bed will still keep heated i'm not sure if this printer will do that because if you have not a heated bed your print will pop off and then you still have a failed print but with power outage your whole printer is not doing anything what is going to happen with your print in the case of the any cubic fiber if there is no power and the bed is not heated then your print is also going to pop off because plastic metal they have different kind of shrinkage if it's cooling down so reality what is the printer going to do in case of a power outage is the printer going to start heating up the heat bed in order to save the print and then the user is going to you know start resume the print or is the print just popping off because the heated bed is cooling down so that is one question that i have with this this type of recovery also a great feature i saw in the video that this guy is taking the direct drive off putting a laser module on and then clipping it on i think that in itself is a very cool feature i think in the future reality can do some other upgrades you know changing the tool head putting a multi extruder on there something like that and also a liquid cooling heating for better or efficient heat dissipation. I think if you are going to print with higher temperatures, a water cooled system is great. But then is there a whole system in there? Where is the water coming from? That are questions that leaves unanswered in this case, but maybe in the future, Creality is also going to do something with that as well. So the build volume 220, 220 by 270. I think building volume is similar like the normal Creality Ender series. The nozzle temperature is up to 300 degrees Celsius. The heated bed is up to 110 degrees Celsius. The, the whole machine is weighing 8.6 kilograms so i think that is a fair weight for a 3d printer the maximum printing speed of this 3d printer is 150 millimeters per second and the printing precision is 0.1 millimeter if you are interested in this 3d printer i will put the links in the description of this video to the video to the website where i got this information from and if it is already on sale if that is going to happen i will put it in the description of this video this video is supported by these awesome patreon supporters the lightspeed fixum dude carl fenton and nate williams thank you guys for your awesome support if you're still watching this video thank you you are amazing please like this video share this video with other people and on social media and hey see you next time peace bye bye